Shemot, Exodus 3. Now Moshe kept at the flock of Yitro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led at the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of Elohim, even to Chorev. And the angel of Yahuwah appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a thorn bush. And he looked, and behold, the thorn bush burned with fire, and the thorn bush was not consumed. And Moshe said, I will now turn aside and see at this great sight why the thorn bush is not burnt. And when Yahuwah saw that he turned aside to see, Elohim called unto him out of the midst of the thorn bush and said, Moshe, Moshe. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off your shoes from off your feet, for the place whereon ye stand, rather, whereon you stand, is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the Elohim of your father, the Elohim of Avraham, the Elohim of Yitzhak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. And Moshe hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon Elohim. And Yahuwah said, I have surely seen at the affliction of my people, which are in Mitzrayim, and have heard at their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know at their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Mitzrayim, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Kinaim and the Chitim and the Emerim and the Perizim and the Chivim and the Yevusim. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Yasarel is come unto me. And I have also seen at the oppression wherewith the Mitzrayim oppress them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you unto Pharaoh, that you may bring forth my people at the children of Yasarel out of Mitzrayim. And Moshe said unto Elohim, who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth at the children of Yasharel out of Mitzrayim? And he said, Certainly I will be with you, and this shall be a sign unto you that I have sent you, when you have brought forth at the people out of Mitzrayim, ye shall serve at Elohim upon this mountain. And Moshe said unto Elohim, Behold, when I come unto the children of Yasharel, and shall say unto them, The Elohim of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And Elohim said unto El Moshe, Eya, Asher Eya, and he said, Thus shall you say unto the children of Yasharel, Ehaya has sent me unto you. And Elohai said moreover unto El Moshe, Thus shall you say unto the children of Yasharel, Yahuwah Elohai of your fathers, the Elohim of Avraham, the Elohai of Yitzhak, and the Elohai of Yaakov has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my mention unto all generations. Go and gather at the elders of Yasharel together, and say unto them, 
Yahuwah, Elohai of your fathers, the Elohai of Avraham, of Yitzhak, and of Yaakov, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen at that which is done to you in Mitzrayim. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Mitzrayim, unto the land of the Canaanim, and the Chittim, and the Emerim, and the Perizim, and the Chivim, and the Yevasim, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. They shall hearken to your voice, and you shall come, you and the elders of Yasharel, unto the king of Mitzrayim. And you shall say unto him, Yahuwah, Elohai, of the Ivrim, has met with us, and now let us go, we beseech you, three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice to Yahuwah, Elohai Nu. And I am sure that the king of Mitzrayim will not let you go, no, not by a mighty hand, and I will stretch out at my hand and smite at Mitzrayim with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give at his people favor in the sight of the Mitzrayim. And it shall come to pass that when you go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourns in her house, jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters, and ye shall spoil at the Mitzrim.